What is shared in this video does not replace advice by a medical professional. Your medicine or device might not look the same as what is shown in this video. The name of a company or product in this video does not mean it is endorsed by Atrium Health. All medicine should be taken under the care of your doctor. Many people have a hard time taking deep breaths. Inspiratory means breathing in. Special breathing exercises with a device called an inspiratory muscle trainer may help you breathe better. This video will show you how to properly use your inspiratory muscle trainer. The resistance dial is turned to make these breathing exercises easier or harder based on the resistance number you choose. One means the lowest resistance or easiest. Five means the most resistance or the hardest. The resistance is changed by turning the dial. The mouthpiece is where you breathe in and out through your mouth only. The nose clips close your nose so that you only breathe in and out through your mouth. Some devices also help with expiratory breathing or breathing out. How to use your inspiratory muscle trainer. It is important to wash your hands with warm soapy water and then dry them before using your inspiratory muscle trainer. You will need to know and set the right resistance number on your device. The first setting, or number one, is where most people begin. The number one needs to be lined up with the arrows at the end of the device. To change the resistance to a different number, turn the dial either left or right. Nose clips help you to breathe in and out only through your mouth. When you're ready to begin your treatment, sit up and place the mouthpiece in your mouth. Seal it with your lips. Breathe in as deep and as hard as you can for about two seconds. Breathe out through the device as you normally would. Repeat this 12 to 15 breaths per minute. Do this for 10 to 15 minutes a day. You should use your device three to five times a week to help your breathing muscles become stronger. If you get very tired during or after using the device, can't catch your breath or your heart races, stop using the device. When you feel better, you can start using the device again. If this happens a lot, call your doctor and ask if you need to continue the breathing treatment. You should do your treatments a little longer every day. This will help build your breathing muscles. When you can breathe in and out easily through the device for 30 minutes, three to five days a week, it is time to change the dial to a higher number. Once you're at number five on the dial, talk to your doctor. Your doctor will tell you if you should continue or stop the breathing treatment. To clean your device, use warm soapy water and rinse it well. Shake off the water and let it air dry on a clean paper towel. When it is dry, store it in a closed plastic bag. Your doctor ordered this breathing treatment as part of your care. By following these steps, you should be able to use your inspiratory muscle trainer the right way. If you have questions or need help, call your doctor's office.